I'm just going to bob to Fizzy's and then I thought I'd nip into town if that's all right with you. Ah, the very person. Have you got a couple of hours? I want you to help me find something sexy. Yeah. Oh, sophisticated for Eileen's party tonight. I told her it's just a few bevies and some pineapple chunks. Will she listen? I take it you are going. Oh, well, actually, we'll plan on having a quiet one. What have you not told her? Tell me what. My mum's planning this fancy dinner and asked if we want to go. You don't mind, do you? Oh, you are invited as well. Sorry? Well, my mum's thrown this dinner party, so uh, Tim's going to have to go around to Eileen's, and you are my plus one. <laughs> yeah, I would love to, but um, Rana and I are doing something, aren't we? Mm, you must have got your nights mixed up. Right, that sounds perfect. Yeah, we'll see you at six. Bye. Right, so where are us girls here in the shops, then? Oh, I've got work in half an hour, so I'll, I'll see you later. Yeah? See you later. Right, OK. Bye. <laughs> Thank God we break up chat with Sophie. Well, can't you do it tomorrow? I can't sit through a whole family dinner thing where I feel like a total fraud. No, I have to speak to her first. Oh, well, Bazzy, you said anything? You won't even look at me. I meant what I said, though. If he says no, I'm leaving him anyway. I'll chase us out of here with pitchforks. I don't care. Because at least I'll be with you. Wait. I can't keep pretending this isn't happening. Well, me and Rana had a deal. And she's not going back on that. But you can't stop us from seeing each other. What do you reckon? Tell me the truth. Did you really agree to this for the money? Or was it because you still think there's a chance for you? Because if it was, you have to let go. Rana and I love each other. There's nothing you can do to change that.